hear a double <laughs> uh, double on that one there it is what it is how you doing tonight David Mita well I see you're the only ones joining me tonight but hopefully uh, I, I got a gift from angry prospectors productions uh, my foster brothers gig out west in the mother load and I don't know if many of you know but I turned 57 Monday <laughs> and man today I feel 60 had a hard day a hard week but I got a package from Angry Prospectors. Oh, don't, oh. <laughs> And I'm going to open it. I have an idea what it is. Uh, the angry part is uh, my brother lives in the mother load. And most time when he prospects, he prospects alone. And he's not having much luck. But. Jim, if you end up watching this, happy birthday, Sean. Happy 38. If you're watching this, Jim, later. Sorry, but I couldn't wait because I had a good idea what it was going to be. Caught on my earbuds. Oh, and look at this. Looks like my brother got me a drone. I'm going to have to go play with that. me a drone. Too bad. Oh. Oh, that's what he got me. I, I've been wanting to get one, so Jim told me I'll hang on, hold up on it. So that's cool. Now I have a mess in here I got to clean up. Yeah, that's cool. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked about that. I'm going to have to go play with it and get used to it. <laughs> right on, right on. Cool, cool. Where are you at, Sean? Local mining district. Out west, I know that. Oh, Slate Creek Mining District. I've, oh yeah, back home, a good old Washington boy. I've been out to the Slate Creek Mining District. Oh, was good old, what's that, Dead Horse Pass or whatever, the highest pass in the state. Uh, I used to live in Skagit Valley in a small hamlet called Pumpkin Center. It was right close to, uh, between Lyman and 
and Hamilton. Um, but um, I've seen some drone footage from Justin, uh, Justin Carr. Uh, Slate Creek Mining District has a real good history, David. Um, uh, there's a lot of places back home. Ah, uh, Tacoma area. My foster brother used to live there. Oh, okay, okay. Um, are those Washington State Prospectors and Mining Association claims? up in the Slate Creek District or are those bedrock prospectors? When I lived back there I was a member of Washington State Prospectors Association and that's who had the claims up in the Slate District. Um, good group of guys why I was out there visiting for eight months, nine months in 08, I joined the Buckeye Prospectors. Unfortunately, I didn't get to do much. I, I was bouncing back from Vancouver where my mom lives up to the Scott Lake Olympia area where my son lives and I couldn't get over to where I wanted to much, but I prospected um, up on the East Fork Lewis River and Copper Creek on a GPA claim on Copper Creek. Uh, did some stuff on the Washougal River I played a lot on Canyon Creek in the DNR land, but mostly Warehouser land. It was pretty much Warehouser. Yeah, I know when I joined Bedrock, they they had claims on Blewett Pass and stuff, and that's one reason why I joined them. Um, the other one was because the reason why is because they're pretty close. I, I did some prospecting up in Capitol Forest too since we were right there in Scott Lake, uh, Waddell, Waddell Creek. I found some color on there. Uh, geez. So you know Washington, David. I, I thought you were from Bakersfield or something before you moved out to Georgia, the land of peaches. <laughs> peaches in northern Georgia has some mighty fine gold. But, well, I wanted to do a public unwrapping of the gift I got from my brother, the angry prospector. I'm glad Georgia is in the house with us and back home in Washington. <coughs> Pardon me. Oralville? And yeah, the Similkameen River right by Oroville. And that has some damn good gold on it. I, I've done some dredging on the Similkameen. Some good gold on that. Okay, guys. Uh, quick announcement about Tuesday's show. I'm having a fellow YouTuber on. Um... On GPS, he goes by uh, Brother Joseph. His channel here on YouTube is uh, within his presence. Um, he's uh, 
contractor, painting contractor, I believe, and a Vermont prospector and a minister. He's a really down-to-earth good guy, and he's getting some good gold out of the Vermont Creeks. Um, he'll be on Tuesday. Uh, he's also going to be giving away a contraption that he makes. Um, it's a sluice box, so we will have uh, a giveaway this coming week. I believe it's just one, and you need to be active in chat for me to draw out a winner. All right, I don't have Facebook up yet because it messes with my bandwidth, David. I'll, I'll check it here in a little bit, buddy. I don't know if I'm going to get to the Crony Club outing um, next month down at Bill Hellum's Pure Gold. Um, but... There's some decent gold down there. If you never, if you and Mita has never been to Bill's Pure Gold, David, uh, thank you, Sean. You'll like it. I would like to get down there, but Kathleen Biffle, the Wandering Buffaloes, <clears throat> they have your gold claw, David. Just in case I don't get there. I hope I do too, buddy. I hope I do too. <laughs> Let me play with it a little first, Sean. But I'll definitely put her to use. Now, hopefully I won't wreck her too quickly. <laughs> it will be good practice. Because I'd like to get one that goes through my phone. But it has a real time display. Joysticks look like any other operating vehicle. Cool. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked about it. <laughs> I, I plan on it, Dan. Hey, Eric. Um, I was just opening up a package I got from, from my foster brother, the Angry Prospector. He's out in Dan Zoller's neck of the woods. He, uh, I've talked to you a little about him before, Dan. Um, but, there you go. Got a drone! Gonna use it. So, well guys, I'm beat. I've been doing, last week I rolled trusses, and me and one other guy, the oldest two on the job were the monkeys in the trusses. Uh, doing the bracing and everything. Hey, Yankee, how you doing? Hey, everybody, if you like outdoor stuff, check out Yankee Outdoors Adventures uh, YouTube channel. He's a really good guy. Hey, uh, Yankee, check out Dan Zoller's YouTube channel. He's another prospector from California. Um, same here, Yankee. And look what I got one now, too. My brother got me a drone. So I plan on having a good time with it. Hey, Ronald, how you doing? I opened up a birthday present 
early. <laughs> Excellent. Hey, no problem, brother. Well, Dan, you need to get out and do some mining and get some more videos up, bro. Um, so, I'm going to chillax, not do any more work on the computer or nothing. Um, should I, well, I'm looking forward to a really good show this coming Tuesday with Brother Joseph out of Vermont <clears throat> and he's gonna be giving away something I'll let him talk about it and whatnot I hope you're all there thank you for the early birthday Ronald uh, so come join us Tuesday night Hey, yeah, if any of you guys want to grow your channel, and uh, I, I did a little thing, collaboration with Yankee on his meet and greet, you could go over to his channel, watch that, I almost felt like changing it, Yankee, um, but it, it was really good nonetheless and I'd like to collaborate more with Yankee in the future but oh it isn't I hope it's I will get internet in my new house you'll just have to call them up Ronald and say hey give me internet you gotta do your radio show dude wow uh, we understand the hurricane and all <laughs> no you know, David, you need to make the show, Hurricane or not, you, one demerit for David Bogan and one demerit for me to, for, for not being here during the hurricane. <laughs> no, I'm just joking, my brother of another mother, you know that. Right on, right on, Yankee. Um, huh, well, you have to think of something. <laughs> All right, well. My friends, I'm going to cut this short. Hopefully, I'll be seeing David Amida at Bill's Pure Gold next month. We'll see. Keep your fingers crossed. And... Sorry, brother. I'm not going to make the Amra golden great outdoors show um, I know people that are if I was gonna be there Dan I'd let you know for sure it'd be great meeting you well you have to be here I don't care if you go down to the library room you got to be here because this show is on Tuesdays because of you, Ronald. Because of you. I was going to have them on Thursday. 
But because of you and your schedule, my friend, we made it Tuesday. <laughs> oh yeah, no worries. I was sporting my Amherst shirt at work today with the fighting to stop tyranny and the um, EPA with this big old circle and line through it. I got some good comments about that. A lot of people liked it. <laughs> Thank you, David. I'll message you here in a little bit when I jump into the FB. <clears throat> you have a great one. Uh, may you always have a flash in your pen. And yes, I'll say it. You know what I always say. Maybe one day too, I'll meet you on the river. Thank you very much, guys. Have a good one. Oh, no.